April 27, 1805. The air was thick with the smell of gunpowder as Lieutenant Presley O'Bannon led his Marines into battle at Derna, Tripoli, and the sound of explosions rang out all around. As the naval bombardment from the USS Nautilus, USS Hornet, and USS Argus continued to fall on the city, the ground shook beneath their feet. As they dodged enemy fire, the Marines charged forward, their boots crunching on the sandy terrain. The sun beat down on them, increasing the intensity of the battle. Lieutenant O'Bannon barked orders, his voice hoarse from adrenaline. The sound of clashing swords and cries of pain filled the air as they approached the city. As they fought for their lives, the Marines engaged in hand-to-hand combat. The metallic tang of blood mixed with the salty sea breeze added to this sensory overload. After hours of grueling combat, the Marines were victorious. Lieutenant O'Bannon hoisted the first U.S. flag over foreign soil, symbolizing victory over the enemy. The Battle of Derna will go down in history as the Marines' first battle on foreign soil, a watershed moment in U.S. military history. Those Marines' sacrifices and bravery would be immortalized in the first verse of the Marines' hymn. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we fight our country's battles, the air, on land, and sea. The Battle of Derta was fought as part of the larger conflict known as the First Barbary War, which was fought between the United States and the Barbary States of North Africa. The Barbary States had a long history of piracy and raiding on American and European ships, and the war was fought to put an end to these practices. The Battle of Derna was a significant victory for the United States, paving the way for the war's eventual conclusion. These are Interesting Things with J.C.